Welcome to this sacred space, where the timeless verses of Psalms 91 and 23 embrace us with comfort and strength. Before we delve into these profound prayers, let's pause and invite tranquility into our hearts. In Psalms 91, we discover the reassuring refuge and protection offered by the Most High. Amidst life's trials, we find solace in the Almighty's unwavering care and steadfast shield of faithfulness. And in Psalm 23, we are guided through the valleys of life with the assurance of the Good Shepherd's presence. Even in the shadow of adversity, we fear no evil, for His rod and staff provide comfort and guidance. Join us as we immerse ourselves in the timeless wisdom of these sacred psalms, drawing strength and inspiration from their enduring message of hope and divine care. Psalm 91 He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers, wet, and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes, and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say, The Lord is my refuge, and you make the Most High your dwelling, no harm will overtake you. No disaster will come near your tent, for He will command His angels concerning you, to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra, you will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. Yeah. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Almighty and everlasting God. As we prepare to conclude our time together, I lift up each soul present in this virtual congregation. May your abundant grace overflow in their lives, bringing comfort, strength, and unwavering faith. Lord, we are grateful for the fellowship we've shared today, for the moments of reflection, and the unity we've experienced in your presence. We thank you for the words of Psalms 91 and 23, which remind us of your steadfast protection and guidance. As we bid farewell, I ask for your blessings to be upon each individual listening. May they feel your loving embrace enveloping them, filling them with peace and assurance. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Good Shepherd, I send forth an embrace to all our dear congregation members. May they find solace in your words and strength in your promises. Father, I also ask that you inspire hearts to stay connected with our community. May they subscribe to our channel, activate the notification bell, and leave a like as a testament of their faith and support. As we depart from this gathering, may your presence go with us, guiding our steps and illuminating our path. Keep us ever mindful of your love and protection. In your holy name we pray. 
Amen. A hug from Jason to all of you and see you next time.